someone lay down here? Um. Alright, here we go. Next is this. So this is the top. Look at that! In the sky! No, that's creepy. Okay. You. He looks like Ryoji, Ryoji yeah. That was my name for a time. I almost missed it. What's going on? Wait, could you be? I am merely a harbinger of the fall. Or perhaps I should say, former harbinger. There is no longer a distinction to be made between Nyx and myself. I see. So this is your purpose. Still, I don't regret my decision. We're taking you down no matter what you are! I see. Then you must already understand. What people fear the most. What they try to turn away from. That is the wretched thing I have become. We know that. Yeah. We're ready. It's the one absolute for all living things. Then... You must also understand that it is futile to resist. Will you still face me? Surely, there must be fear in your hearts. Yeah, of course I'm scared, but who gives a shit? I've got too much to live for! I'm sick of running away. Living means looking death square in the face. So I won't back down. Not even from you. Even if I have to sacrifice myself, I will stop you. This is my choice. This is our answer. I see. Get ready, everyone. Nyx is attacking. I'm also sensing multiple shadows approaching from the lower floors. Stand by, team. Intercept those shadows. This is the final battle. Victory at all costs! Come on, everyone. Let's band together and win this. I know we can do it. Okay, uh... I think I can use it now. All right. That should be built here as well, right? Here we go. You should be ready. Let's do this. Quit, damn it. The moment man devoured the fruit of knowledge, he sealed his fate. 
Entrusting his future to the cards, he clings to a dim hope. Yes, we are as the means by which all is revealed. Attaining one's dream requires a stern will and unfailing determination. The fool? The magician? just changed to the magician his properties changed along with the arcana be careful it doesn't matter how many times and he now... changes arcana i'll scan you no matter what keep it together um let's see you do a heat razor for everyone for This is gonna hurt. Never mind. revealed the silent voice within one's heart whispers the most profound wisdom so i gotta take them all of them take them out until he goes through all what 13 cards you better be ready and this he and i'm gonna take you down persona's ready help us All shall fall. Just accept it. Huh? Impossible. That was close. Can't stop the net. Chris McKesson! Keep it together. This will be good. Yeah, just keep the two guys uh, on healing. Yeah, and keep you paying me, we'll just do the attack. What to do? What to do? The Arcana is not. Uh -huh. Celebrate life's grandeur, its brilliance, its magnificence. this to what's that one not for sure should i stand on this enemy of doubt can lead one to the answer. That's Emperor. Yeah, that's Emperor. Uh oh, he's gonna do something. I'm detecting a surge of power from Nyx's sword. I want to protect this world and everyone in it. <laughs> I know I can do it! Can't break me! Yes, I can. It's time to strike back! Raise my destiny! Max firepower! Let's go! Impossible time! Um. 
keep it together. I think I did you, so you face that. Now! Sweep. Oof, this is gonna hurt. Ah! We're, we're, we're loose. Oh no! I'm out of good! Hold off for now. I don't use this, man. This is the end. Use all the items. This time for sure. Should I have a uh, 200 off? There we go. Hey, What's next? All you just like everything. Oh, it's getting harder to attack him now. And now, I'll end this. Help us! Oh, an enemy! Thanks, dudes. Thunder. Uh oh, um, you bastard! I'm not a good. Let's see. Next. You more than me. We are come. It is indeed a precious gift to understand the forces that guide oneself. In the temperance. To now, the lover. Can I? Might use it. Nice. Give him hell. Let's see. 
We are come. One of the greatest blessings attained from the gift of life is the freedom to pursue one's personal goals. Hey, how many times are you going to do this? Ah, uh, that's Chariot. Next switch the Chariot is ready. Now. Using his jersey every every like three battle three turns. So, hey, he has stopped healing it too. God damn. Uh, I should have a full heal. Good thing we brought this. Um, I can have you on healing. I need to heat raise with me. We are come to find the one true path. One must seek guidance amidst uncertainty. Justice. Next chance to the Justice Arcana! I'm gonna send you all the way back to the moon! <laughs> Okay, gonna switch right away. Can't stop me now. Let's go. Uh huh. huh. Everyone's uh bopped up. Yep. I could just heal myself. SP. Requires great courage to look within oneself 
and forge one's own path. Hey, you're still good. Let's see. Persona. Will this work? Now. Four. This is gonna hurt. We are ever present alongside time, misfortune, cruel and unflinching. Wait, I changed the fortune. Yeah, the fortune. Now it's the fortune arcana! Screw this fortune! We're gonna tear it all down! Do this. It's my death status! Max firepower! Let's go! Hit this! Oh, goddamn. We are coming. One needs strength to endure and rise above suffering and torment. Nice. Not the strength. That's the strength. Next switch to the strength or oh, and this. Can I stand on this enemy? Oh, can you use that? Let's go. Got it. Yeah, keep my SP and back up. Uh, More SP. Nah, uh, let's see. There we go. This will be good. I'll go with. Come! Come on, bring that back down. Uh, I can have you just on. Keep on. Keep guarding for now. I'll end this. Now! Yeah, I have you. I'll get you being as a healer for now. Possible. Accept your fate. Oh, god damn it. Multiple team members are out of commission. Please, not me, not me, not me. What to do? Never mind. This time for sure. Can't let this go to waste. My persona's ready. I've already seen this one. On this. Just watch. Attack up. There. 
zone is ready. Call it down! We are caught out in the face of unavoidable disaster lies the opportunity to search for redemption. The hang, I believe. Next change to the hangman. Oh, that you bastard. Dodge it again. You can't hit the dog. What to do? Can I stand on this enemy? I'll go with. I only hit twice, goddammit. Yep. Ability. When you need you to quit. There we go. We've already scanned this I'll one. This. Now! The mo entrusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. Yet the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Beyond the journey you have taken lies the absolute end. It matters not who you are. One thing is always certain. Death awaits all. What are you gonna do, death? Yeah, death. Oh, he transformed. I sense the death arcana. This is Nyx's true form. I didn't want you to suffer, but the time for that is long past. Is this really what you desire? Well, I already know the answer. Very well, let us continue until the world meets its end. Let's go, Ryoji. You cannot avoid death. To live is to die. They are one and the same. No, to live is to suffer. Has come. This looks bad. Huh? Salvation. You still got your attack up there. Yeah, you What's the plan? Can I stand on this enemy? What's next? Crit, damn it. My persona's ready. You should have a defense all right. The path you have chosen. Night Queen. The Arcana has revealed. Huh. That's throwing away money, damn it. Snap out of it. Uh Rage, right? What's the plan? Risk against it! Impossible. Uh, that's a bad off for you. Can I use this? All shall There's no wing to the ice, right? Just frozen! You still got that and work. Good to start this off. Impossible. 
possible. No, it looks like that, uh, that barrier? Probably not. Something else. I don't hit. Now, the belly hit you again. What's next? Persona! Don't worry, I'm gonna do that again on you. I'll go with Impossible. This off. This is the end. Such a pity. You understand your fate, yet you still fight against it with all your might. If only there were more like you, then perhaps the fall could have been prevented. But, it's too late now. Where am 
She saved me. I'm the one who said we're always connected. That's how I know you're still hanging in there, Fuka. I'm scared as hell right now. But I know I can't give up. Right, Fuka? What's going on? Am I dreaming? Man, what am I gonna do? How can this be happening? Is that coming from the school? Uh, are we in the afterlife, dear? Uh, I have no idea what the heck is going on. Uh, what's going on? Why is the world suddenly declaring an emergency? Someone's gonna have to pay big for this one. I guess all I can do is believe in them. They'll die out there. There's no need to worry. This isn't the afterlife. 
You're still very much alive. Do you remember what I once told you? How the strength of your social links will determine your potential. Listen. Can you hear their many voices? Each one's power is faint, yet they all reach out to you. Can you feel them? Close your eyes and listen. Their voices may be faint, but you hear them, don't you? I'll always have your back. Don't worry about a thing. I know you can do it. I know you're facing a difficult task somewhere out there. But I truly believe that you can overcome any obstacle. Something frightful is going on, but we're not giving up. That's right, dear. We have to be strong for him. Something crazy's going on here, but I know you're out there doing all you can. I'm not gonna lose hope. I learned that from you. I'm okay right now, and it's because you gave me the courage to stand on my own. So please, you can't give up. Oh god, I'm freaking out here. But I know he's doing his best out there too. I don't even know what he looks like, but I know he's okay. I can feel it. I know you're trying to stay focused. You were there when I needed you. I hope I can do the same. Hey, can you believe what's going on? I know you must be doing everything you can, so I will too. Everyone else is scared, but not me. You showed me how to be tough. I won't give up. How are you doing? Ça va, I hope. I am here for you, like you were there for me. What on earth made me think of you at a time like this? Well, I suppose you did teach me a thing or two about trust. You were the one who taught me that running away never solves nothing. And I bet you're somewhere out there fighting the good fight right now. Well, I'm here for you too, kid. I'll take on any challenge that comes my way without passing blame. You taught me that. I bet you're fighting right now too, huh? You saved me. I was so blind before. I'm sure you've got things under control, right? You always do. I know I'm not the only one who's suffered. You've endured a lot too. But you can't just give up. You taught me that. Can you hear them? These are the voices of hope that wish to help you. Separately, they are weak. But together, they will bring about a great change in you. Now is the time to draw on the true strength of the bonds you have forged. I never dreamed of seeing that card with my own eyes. This is indeed a surprise. Behold, the greatest power that you and I shall unveil. It is the power to bring about a new beginning, or the ultimate end. With this newfound power, it might now be possible. Perhaps you can save those you hold dear from that which cannot be defeated. What you have in your hands is the power of the universe. Nothing is outside the realm of possibility for you now. We will soon reach your destination. It seems that, in addition to death, fate has also dealt you the wild card. You must accept your destiny. Our contract has been fulfilled. 
I have completed my role as well. You were truly a most remarkable guest. Not over yet. Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Yamakishi, is he all right? What happened? Everything disappeared after being covered in that light. I don't sense anything now. 
Don't tell me he... The hell are you saying? That's impossible! Try again! I can't be the only one! <sighs> no way. Damn it! Not again! We put our lives on the line just like he did. In fact, we came here expecting to die. So why only him? Why am I so powerless? Am I really unable to protect the ones important to me? This is what I was trying to prevent. You're out there, aren't you? I know you are. I refuse to believe that you're gone. Answer me! I know you're listening. We're here. Say something, please! Don't worry. That voice... I will sleep once again. Peace will return to this universe. For you. And for him. <gasps> He's found the answer to life's greatest question. It just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you. Life's greatest question? I guess you'll find the answer one day as well. Your life too is precious, irreplaceable. You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The bonds of friendship? The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. You will truly be liberated from its dominion. The legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. May we meet again someday. Now we're... How did we end up back... Hey! Look over there! Whoa, uh, what's up with Tartarus? Happening. Everything's going back to normal. Our job is done. Wait, is that? Again. Guys, come on. This isn't the time to be crying. <laughs> You're crying too, Sonata san. Finally, the team's all here. What? Leader. Huh? I'm. Oh no, they won't stop. What's wrong with me? Can I save this? Ain't kind of late. Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically 30 years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? 
<laughs> you never know. Looking at the current 30 years, I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. Wait, it's because I've never noticed her before. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. She lives when, in the same dorm as us. They say they went to the uh, Wait, she does. Nick's. Uh, they're gonna lose all their memories. What's her name then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai is moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. I guess she's the only one that remembers? She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yuka time. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. Well, Dad, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Save it, it's getting kind of late. I can't bring this back. All right, uh, let's get back to doing this. I think all that's left to do is just talk to all the uh, everyone here at the social link, uh, all my party members, I guess. But let's get started. Sup, dude, want to grab a bite at Hagakure? I haven't had their special in a while. Yeah, if you spot me, we hold up. I ain't made out of money. Yes, you are. Just a poor, broke high school kid here. Dude, I got a lot of money. Come a on, million, man. I think. Man, we're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything, right? Yeah, I guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, hear me out for a bit. I got called in to Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. And I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. It's just me. Or she gotten way more serious than before. Tomochika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. Oh, hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some. Hmm? Wait, what? Uh, I did have a special someone, right? Uh, I, I'm not making this up or anything. I'm gonna tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that, that there was someone special in my life. The remembering I, now. It's kind of hard to get something, something like that. Something. Uh, oh, my bad. Sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. Yo. Dude, I heard the juiciest news just now. You want to hear it? Of course you do. Okay, here goes. This is just between you and me, okay? Get this. So, next month, I heard we have three fine-looking teachers coming in. After Emmy, uh, Miss Kano leaves, 
the faculty roster kind of loses its spark, you know? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. And Miss Teruchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on, even our school nurse is a guy. Sure, guy nurses are out there, but we could do better than him. He's got some kind of anti-hooky agenda. Speak of the devil, you don't look so good. You need to go see that devil nurse? If that's the case, sorry dude, but you're on your own. I refuse to set foot in that so-called nurse's office. Oh, oh, and those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Want to come? Yeah, sure. Excellent choice, oh wise one. We got electives to choose next year, right? So we've got to make sure we choose the right one, if you catch my drift. Hmm? Wait a minute, wasn't today... Oh, crap! Sorry, man, I, I got to split before she gets here. Uh, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, my little sis. She'll be coming here starting next month, so she's going to swing by today and look around. Never imagine you have a sister, did he? Guide. I don't want to be remember. seen leading her around by the hand everywhere. He's always talking about that teacher. <sighs> I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, anyway, I'm in a jet. Later. Damn, I really wanted to see the... Oh, yeah, when my sister rolls next month, I'll introduce you to. She loves to yap, but maybe she'll shut up if you're around. Just help me, for the love of God. Wait, but then you'd become my brother-in-law one day, huh? I was going to say, you might fall that. in love with me. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta go. Later. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking about you. Uh... Mm, can we go somewhere else? Uh, all right. Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. Yeah, why is that? I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that... I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her. I think. I mean, all the social link they're That's remembering. Oh, it, it happens. Be there with me. Everything that happens in a social link, it happens. They just anything. remember. Really? It's just and that that I feel more in a weird way. You around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? Yeah, uh, sure. You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um, you must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. No, that's not true. What, are you saying you actually like my problems? Hey, don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Uh, first? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> So everything that happens in the social link will still happen, or they remember it? Well, let's talk about the near future then. Even the, the love events? Wanna go somewhere over spring break? Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. I guess... The, oh, well, if you romance them, it happens too. We stay the night and stuff. I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. That's an embarrassing thought. We can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? 
Uh, okay, uh, let's talk to her. Oh, hey, are you going home now? Okay, then I am too. Well, at least I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. Uh, I'll come with you. Huh? N no, no, you can't. Oh, but no, never mind. We shouldn't. I'm actually planning on going to the public library. Because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. I'm gonna head out first to get some studying done, okay? Sorry about that. Then again, since we've already bumped into each other, I kinda wanna chat for a bit. Wanna walk me to the entrance? Well, then, uh, guess I'll see ya. Gotta go home and study. Ah, uh, good luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. Hey, remember what I told you before? About finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so... I'll admit, I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. And that's why I need to work harder. Ugh, I really, really want to hang out with you. I want to be with you. And I want to feel closer to you, too. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I want to take my dream into my own hands and stand next to you with my head held high. I want us to walk towards the future together. You just watch. I'm gonna be so much more irresistible by then. I bet you'll fall in love with me all over again. And most definitely. Just kidding. But that's why I need to be patient for now. Oh, I know. Don't they say that food tastes the best after you've tried your hardest in a match? Well, this is just like that. If we're patient now and cool off for a while, then maybe later on... Wait up! What are you even making me say? <sighs> anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, see ya! We'll hang out sometime soon. Uh, let me go to the second floor. Classroom. Let's get everyone on top of the second floor. Andre... Laurent... Andre... Laurent... Jean... Garo... What are you trying to remember? Oh, too long! A samurai's name should be simple and short. Oh, you this letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. Wait, is this actually for you? Well, the writing's so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre... something. I don't recall the student with such a foreign name. The only one that comes to mind oh, yes. is Baby. Andre Laurent Jean Yellow. Something. Hello. It is me, Pepe. Writing in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, but I still need lots of help. I write this with a dictionary. I showed Uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So I tell Uncle that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over. Finally, he says, okay. But I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it, but Uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While Uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. 
Besides, I can learn about Japan here, in France, too. And so, in France, I will stay. Someday, I will return to Japan on my own, without anyone's help. I reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So, I enrolled in fashion school. I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. Ah, uh, my name. It is a name that means a lot to me. Japan and France, you and me, all so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. I hope I get to see you again someday. To my precious friend, baby. Oh, he was crying right while writing the letter. Who's next? Puka. Oh, are you going home? You look a bit pale. Are you doing all right? Why does everyone say I look pale? Don't overwork yourself, okay? I'm fine. There's Maybe nothing wrong with me. Rest in the nurse's office before you leave. I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? I want to spend it's as much like I'm dying time or not, as I can. Or something. I'd be happy to. Okay, let's head down to the faculty office together. Oh, it'll be kind of embarrassing to walk side by side at school, huh? Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech clubs? Are you referring to technicians' gloves? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Hey, what? It's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. And he's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Yeah, let's go find uh, more members. Would you like to join my tech club? Of course. Yes! I'm so happy to hear that. I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself. Yes, I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. Ah, there's another girl that likes you electronic. Me for who I am. Who is a computer wizard and a hacker. And let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I have you with me. So there's nothing to be scared of. Now I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's I mean, those two would really like each other. A club all about it, because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. You'll stay in art club next year too, won't you? Yeah, sure. Why do you keep saying like that? Next year, I want to be in whatever clubs you're in. I'd like to be. Are you guys talking about like, and I'll be won't be here for next year? To see you more at the dorm. I think I just want to be with you more in general. I keep asking more of you, don't I? If there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. I know I'm not the most reliable, but I want to get to know you better. I want to be closer to you. Oh, I've 
have to hurry and find some club members. And I need to make recruitment posters, too. Well, I'll see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it more in my room? <laughs> now I really have to go. Bye. Ah, uh, Oh, are you okay? You don't look so good. You should I'm get home feeling and something is wrong with me. It's worse. <laughs> right now, I um. Oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. Uh, what is it? Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? Uh. People are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be all right on my own. <laughs> I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. Be more confident? It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. Hmm. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. She gets better, especially when That's you see her again in Persona 3, uh, 4. I hope I can. <sighs> I, I think she becomes be the president like in Persona more. 4. And I, I don't remember. want you to like me more, too. I want to be the first one you think of. That's why. Um. I love you. <sighs> Yeah, she's the first one that said it. I say, After all, I, I can't believe I said something like that at school. I, I'm sorry. To, no, talk to what? Three girl, well, four girls, four well girls, right? Then, no. Please excuse me, but three? maybe next time. The first one to say, "I love together. you." I have so many places I'd like to see, and I want to visit each and every one. She's getting more bold. With you. Now, uh, do a council. I go second floor, ah, uh, first floor. Hey. Hey. Yeah, it's quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? Now, uh, what brings you here? Nothing much. Just felt like looking around the school, that's all. After all, this is my last day here. The days flew by in the blink of an eye. Hey, they're seeing your son. same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. Hmm. Was there really nothing else? It, never mind. It's Does he remember Argaki? I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. Yeah, does he remember Aragaki? you remember Shinji? No. Ah, uh, I mean Aragaki. <laughs> Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. <sighs> I still can't believe that he was dragged into that incident. Ah, uh, that's what covers it. Ah, are you okay? You don't look well. I hope it's not anemia. Should we get you to the nurse's office? Though, actually, that might be a bit hard for me. I guess I'll just tell you. So, I took the exam for the medical school I was hoping to go to, and I failed. What? How'd you fail? I guess this is my first real failure in life. <laughs> so, starting in the spring, I'll be a student in training. I'll have to keep studying hard every day. Uh, good luck next time, then. I don't think I did badly, but exams tend to have a luck factor to them, too. 
Hmm. The old me would have just given up. I don't exactly have the strongest willpower. But now, it's a different story. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect the people I love. There are a lot of different ways I can accomplish that. And the way I want to do it is through the power of healing. So from now on, I won't lose focus. Next year, I'm going to try again, and I'll pass with flying colors. Thank you. I think it was because of your help that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you, but I won't forget about you. Really, thank you. When I'm a doctor, I'll give you free checkups, okay? Until then, promise you'll look after your health. You're not looking great now, to be honest. Just take care of yourself, okay? Ah, uh, let's see what's next. I think we're back to classroom. Do you remember Chidori? Something's been bugging me. I just don't know what, but I feel like it's something I shouldn't have forgotten. I didn't mean to spy, but you're going out with Yuko, aren't you? Wait, how you know? She's been way more motivated lately, so you're the reason, huh? She even took a look at my knee with this huge book, pointing out all the muscle groups and where I injured it. She really knows her stuff now. Guess that's the power of love, huh? <laughs> well, she's a great girl. I better not catch you making her cry, all right? But I guess I'm the last person you want to hear that from. Besides, you're not that kind of guy. Oh, right. I wanted to talk to you about something. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. It's... The results are in. Recoverable? It's 100% healed! They said I can run all I want now! Dude, nah, you so can, Don't you still have I to take... Broke the give it a rest back. a little bit? I so hard. But thinking about it now, how would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? Definitely were a tore muscle or something. Only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end, it was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm going to listen to what others have to say, even when it's not what I want to hear. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you to be the one I break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. Uh, dude, are you good? You look kind of tired. Go home and get some rest, man. Good health is the most important part of training. We're still signed up for the spring tournament. Yeah, there's Slide something off. definitely wrong with the main dust. character. Man, I had everyone worried sick. Well, the Miyamoto family has a saying for times like these. Nothing repays a debt better than hard work. Just you watch. Next run I do is going to be a record breaker. Oh, it's you. You don't look so good. Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. It's already March. Hmm, there's something I wanted to tell you. Well, we're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. Is he a better person now? I'm going to quit. Oh. Yep, I guess so. Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? I think so. I see. Well, I feel differently. You're an optimistic man, so maybe society looks different through your eyes. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. Oh, they remember that, huh? A society without a future. 
for many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that and what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. And it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is education. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so... I'm gonna become a teacher? I'm thinking of yep. becoming a teacher. A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? I won't do that. I see. Well, I plan to do my best. <laughs> That's all I wanted to tell you. That and to say thanks. This was all because of you. So, thank you. By the way, no one even talks about the cigarette incident anymore. For everyone except me, it was a minor, easily forgotten incident. But I don't think I'll ever forget it. And I won't forget you either, of course. Thanks again. Oh, I was just looking for you. This came for you. It's from Hayase. Oh, you. I bet his school is sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. But it's good news for us. Well, there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, I'll see you around. How's it going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job, too. The real reason I'm writing is because of track. Before, I'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing. Except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. Track and field was my whole life. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're gonna make a track team here. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Hiei. We don't have fancy equipment like before, so we're not as efficient but I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. But I guess it'll even the playing field for them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just gonna keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. Look, one day, you and I are gonna go at it again. And if I'm gonna be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands too. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Okay. Uh, do more over here. What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Uh, I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. <sighs> if you don't mind, could we have a little chat someplace else? I have some business to take care of later on, but I'd like to talk with you until then. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away. Is she away please? Who's gonna be the student president? 
Sorry, uh... I forgot what's her name. That girl. The results haven't been posted yet. I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Yeah, she's leaving. The other guy's leaving. Oh, wait, he I quit have the stone castle. Today. And that just leaves the, uh, the treasure, the treasure the girl. Which I forgot her name already. It's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. Anyway, I can help. <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Do they remember the incident with the Kirijo? I'll be taking my leave the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant... Unless it's it like... My books... My it is rewrite, rewrote, rewritten in the memory. Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to the school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. You know what I mean. He did just blur out, didn't she? Introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on. Try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. I think that's almost everyone here. Oh, the teacher. I mean, it's her. Definitely her. Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait, they were real, right? They had to be. Ah, uh, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurses. Uh, wait, you dropped something. She sent that message on her phone, huh? Yep. Huh? This phone wallpaper! 
Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. <laughs> love you. My! What a charming confession of love. Did you make this? This is about my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? <gasps> uh, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh. Oh, don't. Don't tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were. It's kind of hard for her to not realize it's me, huh? No, it couldn't be. I think it was easy for us to realize it's her. There's no way. Are you kidding? No, no, no! Calm down, Mr. Yumi. Help! Someone call a doctor! Don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I... Uh, I said all that to you? I... 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 I quit this school. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I can't live with this. Just kill me now. I don't mind. <laughs> so, you really are. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not hard to put two and two together. She says that uh, she's the English teacher. I'm Maya. It's me, damn it! You got a problem with that? She keeps talking about Mr. Mr. Ikoda. Jeez, you idiot. This is so embarrassing! But there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. I... I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists. Anyway, um, if you don't mind. If you don't <sighs> mind. Uh, mm, maybe we could have dinner? <laughs> Go to hell with this! Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, anything else here? Hey, it's Ken. Oh, Senpai. I'm glad I found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes you can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> Speaking of forget, do you remember Aragaki? Do you remember someone named no, he Aragaki san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. But whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest and unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important, though I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You are really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for hey, everything. Hey, we drink coffee together. I'm still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. Come on, you and me were fighting next. I think that's everyone here, huh?
Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. Seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. Ah, found it. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. <laughs> Who the hell wrote this? I found my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk, and my wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone! Hey, don't write this down, all right? Lots happened, but I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized, instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. It's all thanks to you. Well, you take care, kid. It's meant to be. We'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk, huh? Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again? The monk left you a bottle tag, didn't he? Yeah, I'd give you the bottle, but... How many years will it be until you're old enough to drink? Well, I'll save it specially for you. Until then, make sure you stick to soft drinks. I'll see you around. I think that's everything here. Yep. Yeah. Ah, it's an empty door. You were definitely in, in that, uh, what do you call it, the Kiruji group. She was on the left earlier, I believe. Uh, next, the shrine. Get to meet the kid and that guy. Hmm? You're... Ah, it's you, right? I'm... Maiko's father. Right, she left with the, uh, the mother. Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. My treat. The food there sure is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? She's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and has had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends. Well, she's going to stay safe, her mother's doing well, too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I wonder if she feels the same way, living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Oh, wait. Maiko must have really liked you, huh? Oh, she, she wrote definitely wrote something about it. About it. I can't wait to grow up. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. What the hell is that about you, little punk? <laughs> what the hell? 
you were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a ten-foot pole. I'll never let you marry her. And don't you forget it! Uh, get back to the shrine. Did he die early and came Hello, to me as a ghost? Excuse me. Are you? Yes. <laughs> so it was you. Oh, excuse me. I'm Miss Kamiki, Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. His birthday. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's, Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It was too soon. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy, but him. <laughs> Must have skipped, skipped her and went to him. The detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad. You know what? This sounds kind of familiar. Does he have the same genetic disease as that? Been your son. What's that? The so anime from My Lie in Summer? Given me. Is that the anime? My Lie in Summer? He suffered oh, yeah. so much, and yet he still said that to me. But Akinari brought me so much happiness. This is a genetic too. disease, and it did uh, get the, the parent and passed on to that girl. Born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. Hearing his breathing. Yeah, his he, uh, the girl was coughing a lot of blood out, I think. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. <laughs> Every day, I found new joy in him. <laughs> now, I'm so alone. And there's nothing I can do. But Not my life. It's my your life in summer. So much. I have to keep going. Looking straight ahead. That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods. Visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything. Absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done on that day. When we meet again on the other side. If I didn't have that to look forward to. I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me. When my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. Oh, wait, really? He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it when he was done. Then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> what, do I have it? He wasn't able to finish the story. Oh, I, I do have it. What? My son, he gave it to you? I, I see. So you did. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh, you should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly when I see him on the other side. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. 
I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just Akinari, or me, or even you. It's all the same. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Don't ever forget it. Is all that's here? I heard he had a hand oh, in the guy. hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, yes. I have heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said it could use some fish flakes. So they put some in and sure enough, it was delicious. Now it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wokatsu too. Yes, he's the one. Sui Mitsu can put our coffee on the map too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are, how should I say this, eccentric? But he knows everything about food, and his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands. There is not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country... I was shocked and disappointed, of course. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself. I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting. Even when he's far away, I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. Are the rumors about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait. I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Oh, are you a student from the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with the high school student known as the Gourmet King? Uh, we... We... we my best friend? Huh? But I'd heard he wasn't interested in anything except food. Unless you mean you know him in the same way everyone else around here knows him. Thanks for your time. I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. Hey, uh, who else is here? Hey, you too. Well, well, look who it is. It's been a while. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. What must have happened is that we shrank. Isn't that right? Oh, oh, oh is that how it is? Looks like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? I'm thinking it's due for a makeover. Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let Gekukan's new school building hog the spotlight. Eh, good idea. Ain't it? I'll hash out some plans with my dear and make this place even better. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. Yeah, that tree is still small. Tree isn't so actually you could actually son. just dig it up and put it somewhere else. Yet, this makes me feel so happy. Ever since my dear heard the news, she's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. Please, dear. I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, we'll be supporting the Gekukon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? 
You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us any time. We'd always love to see you. If we can get that young man to spread the word at GeckoCon, there'll be no end to our customers. Not a bad idea, eh, dear? Come now. Don't make him do our work for us. You don't have to put it like that. Besides, what are grandchildren for? Oh, you. <laughs> I think that's it around here, huh? Coromaru? There's still Coromaru, right? Yep. Okay, I'm fine. Does he remember? Nah, go inside. Coming up next. A special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the Did media. He wanted to like, is our reporter live do on a charity work? Take it away. Give out money. Reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office, where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets, and he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why yeah, he did say. Some of that money yeah, he did say he was going to donate Game some scotch. money. W well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. Like cool. secretly. He's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV. Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone! Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round! Rain or shine! Okay. We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods! Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution! Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds! And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy! We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. Oh, he, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. The message reads... Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products guilt free amazing commodities here for you yeah year he's secretly uh, giving out donation to the uh, the poor miss your chance you'll see bye bye apparently he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds does he have no shame oh, this tanaka guy just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings on behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. 
Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in, we have reports that amazing commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. You're sluggish, I'm so exhausted to fight the fatigue. So your graduation ceremony is tomorrow, I should head in bed early. Can I go to this, this room? Nah, uh, no, well, let's go to my room. Where's I guess? She's doing here. Have you seen this photo before? There's Sonata Senpai, Kirijo Senpai, and and that one student who passed away last year in an incident. Uh, Aragaki Senpai. Nothing else I can do here? With the better early. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Nah, just a sec. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. Does she know? I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. Uh, what's on your mind? I mean, she is an android, so she should have those memory stored somewhere. Everything. Yeah. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember that day we... Yeah, we did. I'm sorry. It's just that, when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did during the last battle. Not going anywhere. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together. Turn this off. We want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, 
Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Uh, am I forgetting something? Hmm? Sonata Senpai? What are you doing? <laughs> Kurumaru! Uh... But no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason... <laughs> Our promise! <sighs> Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess... Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Uh, hello? This is a ceremony. We're not done. the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters. And find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now 
until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. to live, so why am I... <laughs> They're here. I see it now. I have friends. We support each other through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. Thank you so much for everything. You must be tired. Go ahead and rest now. I'll be right here. I won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us. He became the ultimate sacrifice. He becomes the seal to uh, seal Nick. That's what happened at the end. That's why he's feeling tired and that's why he's feeling pale and tired because I think he had to go back and become the seal. And use all, I think that's what they say, use the love, all that's left of his life force to come here. And they just announced they're going to do the. Um, the expansion, the answer, where you actually uh, find the answer for this. I haven't played the answer, so. Alright, that's it. We're done with Persona. I'm gonna like this run. I don't know how long this will take. But it's been fun. Ugh. Being a mercenary, um, or was a mercenary? I don't know what difficulty I'm playing. Um, no, I'm playing the hardest one. Beginning, like I said, it's not that hard. Once you get past the beginning area, the first, I think the first block, or the first area, it gets easier. 
especially when you, um, it gives you spear drink off the first um like off the first um block or oh, the second. No matter when I got the uh, big skill. When I got after that, it got easier for me. I knew what to do. I mean, look at my uh, I yeah, especially I use Orphea throughout the whole game too. I could have gotten it, gotten his um his ultimate form, Messiah. But I uh, just stuck around with my Orpheus. No, it's not Messiah. That is Orpheus Talos or something. So yeah, I'm just going back to this run. I don't know if it, uh, this is allowed on, on YouTube or not. But <laughs> I don't care. If it's not allowed, I'm, I'll edit it out on YouTube. Here on Orpheus. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna let this run. Yeah, if I were to get it, uh, comparing this to Persona 5, 5 is more stylistic. The design, like color, the, the color, and the design, everything is more stylistic. Stylistic. This is more realistic. Persona 5 was a lot easier, especially when you get to Royal. This, uh, like I said, beginning is uh, beginning is just a little hard. Once you get past the beginning part, it gets easier. And all the bosses, uh, all the bosses, not that hard. Once you know what to do with them, then you could just, uh, you yeah, know, once you know what to do, it's not that hard. Next, the final boss wasn't that bad. Most because uh, I was that strong ready. That's me, that's me. I think this is the, uh, is this the original? No, it's not. It's not the original. It's, is this the same girl who sing Persona 4? I know the one sing, sing Persona 3 is a lot older. Can I... No. And press start. Can't, uh, can't, press, can't press anything, so we're, gonna, we're watching this. Oh yeah, uh, if I were to give it out uh, of a 10. Mm, the story, the story is good. The story is probably 9 out of 10. The music is a 10 out of 10. Uh, wait, compare that to Persona 5. Oh, that's a hard one. I, love I think they're both good in their own way. Persona 5 is more of, of a jazz. Like uh, yeah, the more a more jazz style. This is more pop. The pop. Yeah, they're both good. But so uh, four and not four, but three and five music are pretty good. Especially the uh, all the new songs. The new song on the remix at the end. They're pretty good. Can't decide. Battle system, they're the same, but uh, like I said, five was easier, especially when uh. The boots are the, uh, the handoff. Uh, what do they call it in the Persona 5 again? The pass? The top pass? Yeah, but top pass was a lot, uh, a lot stronger compared to this. In this game, just passing the, the top passing or boosting uh, didn't get any buff. Compared to 5, you put top pass, you get the buff and everything. So yeah, 5 was a lot easier, battle system, everything was easier. Uh, exploring, uh, yeah, I give it that to 5. Just exploring the uh, Tartars, not the Tartars, uh, the Labyrinth? That was called. It's been a while. The dungeon and Persona 5 were a lot of fun. I know this is just a, uh, like a, okay, random, randomly generated uh, dungeon. 
it's fun, but yeah, the fight was like the, the dungeon and fight were like fun. But comparing this to five, I don't know. This is fun too. So five was like easier, but this is fun. I mean, this is the uh, persona that got everyone game that got everyone into persona so I mean, I I started out four. I, I did try playing this, but I started. I played uh, the PSP version, so I never got too far in. You know, the PSP had the uh, the answer DLC or expansion pass. Never got too far. So yeah, I started four, and then when, once I beat it, I finished four. I tried to come back, try to play this, but I didn't go. Didn't get, didn't get too far. And as I like, like I said before, I I did five. I did five and I played Royal. I beat five twice to play. Yeah, twice to play Royal once. So yeah, this is a good game. This is a good game to play. If you like it more stylish, you can go play Persona Five. This is uh, the story and everything, being of like dying and rebirth, not dying and depression is really, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, everything, uh, yeah, all the social links hits hard with uh, depression and stuff. Well, I think five is more upbeat, it's more happy is. There you go. I'm not for sure. Uh, I'd like oh. to bestow on you a reward for overcoming great hardship time after time. Please accept this gift. Blue envelope. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Load the safe out here. You'll start the game over. Carry your certain item. Had you be clear. You are right. Originally, you'll be able to continue playing from that point on. If you upload your clear state to the network, you won't be able to load it through the network. Save it, yes. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, Alright, uh, on, on this one. Like I said, I'll be going back to the other two and start making a new persona. Yeah, this changes. Oh, look at that, it changes. Oh yeah, I, I don't know if it tells you here, but I know that in the DLC answer, it tells you what happened to the main character. He technically became the the ultimate sacrifice, became the seal that seal with Nyx. So I'm not sure if it is it's explained here. I gotta have a look back. So let me go through this to see what happened. If not, then that'll be it for tonight. Alright, uh, that'll be it for now. I'll do this later. Oh, I think this is new, but yeah. Uh, your choice. Uh, Alright, so that'll be it for tonight. Uh, that'll be it for the uh, the last of Persona 3 playthrough. I hope you guys enjoy this. And you, can, you guys know what to do. If you guys want to support the stream, click the follow button on my Twitch channel. And if you guys here are watching on YouTube, 
just subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like and a comment. And when you guys first started watching my plate and my um what started watching my playthrough in my channel. And um, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed and get the rest of your night. And starting here out, I'll see what else I can play. So um I may be uh I may upload it like other videos where I could show you like max out persona and, and I still gotta go fight Elizabeth and the uh, the Reaper. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all.